Hello everyone. Here we have with us a voice recognition system in the MATLAB software in the simulation form as well as a hardware kit on it. We have four LEDs. We will show you the four LEDs growing in uh, corresponding to the four uh, diff uh, uh, alphabets spoken. The, we have alphabets A, AB, ABC and ABCD. Uh, first we have to connect the hardware with the MATLAB software. Here we will define a port. Uh, the port COM13 with a baud rate of 9600. The port is not open. Now we'll open the port. Uh, we will show you the command. Uh, this shows that the port is open. And the command we have given here. F open. Uh, now we will give it a input. The, as you can see the green LED is now glowing. We have given a F right where the O command opens the port and uh, gives the input. Now we will load a program. The, we have made the program detect voice. The parameters are S512. We will give you information about the parameters a little later. A little error here it seems. Anyhow, we will correct it now. Okay, here we have the options to start A, A, B, A, B, C, and A, B, C, D. Uh, let's continue. Uh, let me show you the inputs and outputs. Here we have connected the hardware kit with a USB port and used a 3.5 mm audio jack. Uh, from there, we will give the uh, input. Okay, let's start. A. The program is analyzing the input waveform. A. Uh, as you can show, we have got the A output on the screen as well as in the hardware. You can see that one of the LEDs out of the four showing a single of a spoken is going. Okay, uh, we will show you another one, A, B now. A, B. Yeah, here you can see the A, B output in front of you on the, on the screen. And the second LED is now going. Okay, now we will try the A, B, C. A, B, C. Yeah, we also we have got A, B, C and the third LED is going now. And now the last. A, B, C, D. Here we have got the A, B, C and D and the corresponding fourth LED is going now. Now we will give you some of the information about the program. We have defined four parameters here, the recording time, which is in seconds, the waveform capture width, the waveform moving rate, and the local threshold. The recording time is the time in which the voice is recorded and will be processed. The waveform width, how much area will be visible of the captured waveform, the waveform moving rate, the rate of movement of the waveform, and the local threshold, which is a noise removal tool. Here we uh, can use uh, various methods for the noise removal method, some of which are discrete Fourier transform, discrete cosine transform, uh, discrete wavelength and some more methods. Especially in this program, we have used discrete Fourier transform. Uh, I will give you some information about the program, uh, the functioning of the program. The audio signal is in the analog form. We have to change it in, uh, it in the digital form for processing by the computer. For this, we do samples. The sampling rate we have taken here is 10,000 samples per second. The samples that are stored is 16 bits. We can store it in 8 bits or 32 bits also. Uh, 
here we have, uh, as I have told you, here we have this huge discrete of uh, transform. Uh, the, some basic information about the program that the program does not identify the alphabets but uh, instead identifies how many alphabets are spoken. It means uh, a bump waveform means that it will glow, uh, the one LED will glow and it will show you a. Here, if you even if you speak another alphabet, even then only uh, it will show you a and one LED is known. Similarly, for different uh, for the number of alphabets, we uh, we have here designed it for the maximum four alphabets. The corresponding LEDs will glow. Uh, this can be used by BTEC, MTEC, or PhD students for their project work for which we will be glad to offer you the whole program for a premium. Uh, for more information, please visit the link given in the description of this video. Thank you very much.